Hello and thank you for joining me for another one of my short film help series videos. This is video number 38 now. Uh, we're going to be converting a TPS file, Topcon raw data file, GPS file, to RINEX, which is a receiver independent exchange format, it's kind of like an ASCII file in GPS terms. Now this is just a demonstration of a technique and it's also to give you a little introduction into magnet tools. It's in by no means meant to be a substitute for true training by no means. For true training lessons, TopCon's Professional Services has a wonderful e-learning site portal. Uh, you can get that from topconpositioning.com. Once you register, just should be a drop down by your name jump to different sites you'll see my top con now and then the picture on the right you can go to the e-learning uh, tab that you see there so here is the raw data file that was collected and the end user tried to submit this to opus and it was rejected now that could be because of some line in the header occasionally or maybe even something with the uh, foreign constellations that's picked up when we convert that to a RINEX, it'll uh, strip some of that out, clean it up, and hopefully we'll be able to send the observation file of RINEX format uh, up to OPUS. Now we're going to be converting this through Magnet Tools. It's the utility TopCon has for managing raw data and post-processing GPS data. And anytime you open it up, you need to open up a recent job or create a new one, for example and we need to create us a brand new job uh, just so we have a landing page to import that raw data into so i'll give it today's date and let me hit create so now we have a brand new uh, job blank canvas there's nothing in here uh, we'll go up to the import tab under the job tab and from here, come down to the format name and hit the drop down. Expand that if you need to and look for GNSS raw data. You may have to scroll down, but we want to choose the TPS file format or and or JPS. We'll double click the file and it will bring it in easy as pie. Now with the job in, we'll turn right back around and go to export now and we'll leave everything there when we click next now we're going to go back to GNSS raw data but it's going to look a little bit different now because it recognizes the format we have and we're going to choose the latest version of RINEX then it asks for a folder name if you want to create a subfolder and I'll go ahead and do that for this uh, demonstration and just give it the same name as the file itself and once that's complete I'll click save and the export is done. Now let's take a look at it in that particular folder. We'll open up the folder and notice you have a couple files here but we're concerned with the O file, the observation file. So that's it. Thank you for watching.